We are back in five, four. Now, here's Mr. Midnight, Jack Delroy. Oh, good evening, Night Owls, and thank you for allowing me into your living rooms once again. Well, Night Owls, we've got a heck of a show in store for you tonight, and I'm very excited for you to see it all unfold before your very eyes. I really hope you love it. Gosh, I hope you love it. Please love it. trying to host a national syndicated talk show. And I'm trying to help you keep it on the air. We all know how important it is to keep our sponsors and affiliates happy, but in my humble opinion, there is only one person who really matters in this whole darn crazy business. And that is you, our viewer. You're meddling with things you don't understand. Whoa! Now, as you know, here on Night Owls, we think it's very important to keep an open mind. Please welcome Dr. June Ross Mitchell and Lily, the young subject of the book, Conversations with the Devil. I really don't think it's a good idea, Jack. He's becoming more unpredictable. That's a good thing. That's why we still do what? TV. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned for a live television first as we attempt to commune with the devil. Lily, can you hear me? Good to see you again, Jack. Lily, return to me. This isn't about ratings anymore. No one's going anywhere. How could you let it happen, Jack? How could you let it happen? Please be warned, anyone with young children in the room. Go to the Go to the what you're about to see. You okay, Jack? It's <laughs> profoundly disturbing and shocking. You get out there, Mr. Midnight. And you knock him dead. My next review is Late Night with the Devil in 2023. One hour and 33 minute horror movie released March 22nd of 2024. Storyline, a live television broadcast in 1977 goes horribly wrong, unleashing evil into the nation's living rooms. Directed by Cameron Carn and Colin Carnes. Written by Colin Carnes and Cameron Carnes. Here's the cast. David Dash Moshelin as Jack Delroy. Laura Gordon as June Ross Mitchell. Ian Bliss as Carmichael Haig. Faisal Bazi as Christo. Ingrid Torelli as Lily. And Rise Aturi as Gus McConnell and Georgiana Haig as Madeline Piper, and the cast goes on. You might think that I'm making fun of this by how I talked. I'm really not. This movie, I've been hearing people say online, right online, however you want to fucking put it, this movie was boring until the very end. I beg to disagree. The movie was more interesting until it got to the very end. The very end made no fucking sense. Or I should say, it's done so many times. One, is the audience alive or dead? It's quiet. I'm assuming they're all dead? How? Two, the devil was in the girl, totally kills everybody except for Jack. But then all of a sudden, Jack is in this fairy tale dreams, or whatever the fuck you call it, where he sees his dead wife, asks him to stab her, and she it ends up that he stabbed the girl that's possessed with the devil. How in the hell did he even get that close to even stab her and kill her if she's all-powerful just before by killing everybody else? I don't know. The ending of this movie was ridiculous. I loved it up until the very end. So I'm the opposite of most people about this film. I love the 70s aspect of it. It really had a lot going for it until the very end. Very disappointed. Very irritating. Because, let me guess, the police come 
Everybody's dead. He's alive. Oh, he did it. Jack killed everybody. Done. 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 That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this movie a 6 out of 10. Very disappointed. Very irritating. I'm out of here.